Hi. Hi. Are we here? Oh my goodness. It took me three tries to, um, for uh, Facebook to recognize that we want to start a live video. So let me know if you can see me. Hi. Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you there's no one else above you? Da -da 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 -da. Take away all my sadness. Ease my troubles, that's what you do. Sorry for that. I am a terrible singer, but I love you guys. Happy Wednesday to you. Happy Wednesday to you. Happy Wednesday to you. It actually is Wednesday today. How are you? Good morning, Luann. All right, good. That means we're really here. People can see us. Happy about that. I don't know why we're so blown out today, but we're just going to go with it because we managed to get live, which didn't look like it was going to happen for a minute. So... Anyway, hi, 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 how are you? It's Wednesday, I'm April from mamalovesfood.com and dinnerhero.com, I hope you're well and having a wonderful day so far. I'm doing all right, can't really complain. Got up with my alarm clock. Robin says, happy kind of Friday, everyone. How is it kind of Friday? Is it kind of Friday for you? Because it's definitely not Friday for me. Nothing Friday about today for me. <laughs> Friday's Friday for me. Val says, happy Canada Day. Oh, it's Canada Day. Happy Canada Day for the Canadians in the group. Awesome. Awesome. Hi, David. Happy, happy Wednesday. Tallahassee, Florida. I'm from Florida. Not from Florida. I'm in Florida. Anyway, how is everyone? Make sure to leave your mental health number in the comments. Uh, one is low, ten is high. I'm going to go with like a solid six and a half today. You guys, confession. I still haven't finished my taxes. I'm afraid my accountant's going to fire me. <laughs> and I wouldn't blame her. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Val. Good morning, Karen. Karen's a six. Good morning, Jamie and Luann. And David's an eight. I love it. I love it. Um, I think our internet's a little bit rocky, so let me know. Not that I can necessarily do anything about it, but let me know if you're having trouble seeing or hearing me. Good morning, Rosie. Rosie's an eight. I love it. Linda's a 10. High five, girl. High five. How did we sleep last night? I fell asleep at like 10, which was great. Uh, might have even been a little bit earlier. And... Um, And I just slept hard. I slept really hard. Although I did dream that I got in a fight with a friend, which I don't, I don't like doing, but, and there's no fight. There's nothing. I was, you guys know Stephanie from Spaceships and Laser Beams. I don't know why I jumped that we got in a fight. I don't know. We're definitely not in a fight. Um, but anyway, so that was a little stressful, but I woke up and I was like, whew, wasn't real. I don't even know what it was about. <laughs> just fighting. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this Facebook. Facebook's being cranky. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Christina. Christina's a five. Ooh, we got to get that number up for you, girl. Guys, if you see someone below a five, uh, make sure to reach out to them. I would say five and below, maybe even. Reach out to them. Tell them we're thinking of them and um, hoping their day gets better and all that fun stuff. I'm just sharing into the group right now. Those of you who don't know, we do have a community group. I'd love if you joined us over there. It's just called Mama Loves Food Community. You can find it by searching or, for, or by going um, via the link in the description. I don't know where it, where it is on your device. Um, and then also I can go ahead and put the um, link in the comments for you. So our recipe of the day today. Oh my gosh, you guys. No wonder you can't find the Mama Loves Food Community. My link is totally wrong. Oh my goodness. <sighs> It's, it's like a very Monday, Wednesday, it feels like. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, I'm going to fix that. I always, I was wondering why, you know, I usually get a whole bunch of people that are like, ooh, I want to join the group. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Amber says, I manage a city pool and dreamt about swimming lessons. Sounds about right. What is sleep, right? Um, yeah, anyway, I just put the real link to the group, and I will um, fix the link in the description in a little bit. So yeah, fun times, fun times guys. So it's July 1st. Is that bananas? Hi, Stephanie from Australia. How are you? Midnight. Oh my gosh. 
Um, what was I saying? It's July 1st. It's the second half of the year. What? It is the second half of the year, you guys. How bananas is that? Apparently, it's Canada Day. So, happy Canada Day who, to those who celebrate. Yay. Love that for you. Fourth of July is coming up for Americans this coming week. Crazy pants. And um, I think a lot of people are celebrating Christmas in July right now, which is kind of fun. I am not. I like Christmas squarely in December, personally. <laughs> I like to keep my holidays in the right place. But you do you. <laughs> if Christmas is in July makes you happy, then by all means, celebrate Christmas in July. So, recipe of the day. What? Recipe of the day is this uh, sweet potatoes, sweet, bleh, bleh, sausage and sweet potato hash. It is my absolute favorite breakfast in the world. I love it. It's so good. It's savory. It's got just a touch of sweet from the sweet potatoes. It is yummy, 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 yummy. It is, if you're interested in these things, it is dairy free. I don't, um, it is grain free. I don't believe it's technically, um, what is it? What's the one that everybody does right now? Keto. I don't believe it's technically keto because the sweet potatoes, um, but it is paleo anyway. So in case you're curious, but I just like it cause it's delicious and I make a double batch and we just eat the heck out of it. It's so, 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 so good. And it's really ridiculously easy to make. You just chop up your sweet potato and you brown your, um, your, um, I can't speak. You brown <laughs> your breakfast sausage and, uh, with, with, with garlic and onions and spices and, and then put in the sweet potato and just, oh, it's so good. Anyway, I'm going to have to make that very soon. Hi, Alyssa. We're talking about the... Uh, recipe of the day it's a uh, sausage and sweet potato hash and it's just so good and I, I have it listed as a breakfast food but honestly I just um, I eat it for every meal I like we make it for dinner sometimes and all that fun stuff all right should we rolling on move on to the questions today what do you think I have in store for you? I think I found some good ones today I think I found some good ones today let's continue the segue of breakfast and talk about what is your favorite breakfast cereal of all time. So the first thing that popped into my mind, thank you, Christina. These are from Walmart. They were the three, you know, Walmart's got that like line of $3 earrings. That's what these were. The, they're so cute, aren't they? They're comfy. They're not heavy. I think this is plastic or maybe just very thin. I don't know, but they're not heavy at all, which I appreciate because I love big earrings, but I don't like it when they weigh on your ears so much. So yeah, thanks. Anyway, Walmart. Uh, what is your favorite breakfast cereal? Favorite breakfast cereal. Amber says honeycomb. I don't think I've ever had that. Tracy says Reese's peanut butter puffs. I think that's my mom's favorite. Uh, so my first, like the one that popped into my head immediately was um, Lucky Charms. I just, it's so good. And those little marshmallow treats all throughout it and I love it and it's so nostalgic because it was one that my dad used to get every now and again as a treat uh, when we were growing up um but then I was like well I really do love it for the nostalgia and I do love the flavor of it but I love cinnamon toast crunch more right so there's that but then I remembered have you guys ever I don't even know if this exists anymore I don't even know but if it doesn't we need to bring it back but also we shouldn't because I literally will eat, I will sit and eat an entire box of this and not even flinch. Um, have you guys tried the French Toast Crunch? It's by the same people that make the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but it's little bitty, like it, look, it looks like little bitty French toasts. <sighs> it is the most delicious thing I've ever had in my entire life. And it doesn't tear up my mouth the way French, uh, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch does. Um, <gasps> Cocoa Puffs are so good too. Mm, I do love a good Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, French Toast Crunch is, I just can't even explain. It's like, I mean, it tastes like French Toast. It's crazy and it's got like slightly buttery flavor it, flavor, and it's just, I, I just like just thinking about it right now, my mouth is salivating. Like I'm, I'm full of spit in my mouth right now. Like too much information I know, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry, I'm like shaking. I'm so excited I'm shaking the table. Um, yeah, okay, so keep telling me those. But I would have to say um, 
French toast would be first place, French toast crunch. Second place would be cinnamon toast crunch. And third place would be Lucky Charms. And Lucky Charms and cinnamon toast crunch are like right there, right there. And then very close fourth place, Cocoa Puffs. Uh, Robin says, have you tried the churros? No, I haven't tried the cinnamon toast crunch churros for the very reason that I'm afraid I'm going to like them too much. Because <laughs> I literally, I, I like, I think cereal for me in a lot of cases is better than ice cream. I know. Controversial, right? What do you think? Would you rather have a bowl of sugary cereal or, or a bowl of ice cream? Tell me. Discuss in the comments. I would like to know. Okay. Whew. Next question. Next question. Robin says golden grams. <gasps> Amber says it's still available and you can order it on Amazon. I did not need to know that, Amber. Amber, don't sabotage me. <laughs> okay. Would you rather, we've got another would you rather. Would you rather live where the temperature is never above freezing, so 34 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, or, or is it 32? I think it's 34. Anyway, in that range. Alyssa says she'd rather have ice cream. Christina would rather have a bowl of cereal. Karen says ice cream. Heather says ice cream. Good morning, Kenya. How are you? Okay. Would you rather live where the temperature is never above freezing, so 34-ish, or never below 100 degrees Fahrenheit? I think this is... Uh, Assuming we're getting some sunny days, even if it's... Okay, Robin, Rhonda says 32. Thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> Science is not my forte. Uh, so, I, I mean, assuming we're getting some nice sunny days, even though it's cold, I'm going to go with the cold weather. I don't like... I don't like to sweat. I don't. I, I'll vacation where it's hot out, right? Lindsay, Lindsay says, is there a pool? I don't know. Is there? I don't know. Terry says freezing, 32. Uh, and Linda says, I don't like being cold. But yeah, I don't, I mean, who likes being cold? But at least you can wear a sweater, right? Like, I can wear a good sweater and a pair of jeans and a cute pair of boots and not be cold, right? But there's only so much clothing I can take off. And it's hot, no matter how much clothing you take off at 100 degrees. So that's my feeling. I'm going to go with cold. I'll say it's a little bit of a, a slower, like a, it's, neither of them sound particularly pleasant like because who wants to who wants to be one or the other all the time um but but yeah that would be right Rhonda says you can always put on extra clothes but you can't take off your skin no that's not something I want to see I don't want to see people's insides because that's gross anyway all right yeah I think we agree I think we agree that I'm right <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys are about 50-50. Karen says cold weather. Rosie says cold. Oh, maybe maybe I am right. Good morning, Karen. How are you? Our question right now that we're discussing is would you rather live somewhere that is never above freezing or would you rather some live somewhere that is never below 100 degrees Fahrenheit? Thank you, Andrea. Uh, Stephanie says, I wake up so early, 4 a.m. every morning, and I don't do cereal, but I do incentive breakfast, pancakes, waffles. Oh, that sounds good. Karen says, if we could have a pool, I would take that. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, and I'm assuming that I get proper, like, clothing to keep myself warm. Like, I'm not just always shivering. It's not like, you know, that would be my, my feeling. Good morning, Miss Gemma. Okay, should we have another question? This one's more of a thinker. You can tell me what you think. What book have you read? It can be over the course of your entire lifetime that just really, really stuck with you. Like, um, yes, and it says never below 100, no humidity. I don't know. Are we allowed to designate that? I think you get varying temperatures, right? Just like, or varying levels of humidity, right? Just like, you know, I don't know. The sun might take your skin off for you. Oh, that's a gross thought. <laughs> <laughs> what book or books <clears throat> stuck with you or like really just gave you a mind shift for me there's two one is to kill a mockingbird and two is east of eden and both for similar reasons they both were like just eye openers for me like cultures not cultures but just um yeah things i had never thought about before and uh, i read to kill a mockingbird in i would say middle school 
and I read East of Eden in, it was either late high school or early college, uh, and both of them just super stuck with me, and I've reread both of them um, since then, I just, and they're just great books. So, Lindsay says, To Kill a Mockingbird. High five, girl. See? Gemma says, The Enchanted Wood. Stephanie says, Jane Eyre. Karen says, The Pilot's Wife. Jamie says, The Brave New World. That was a good one, too. Totally agree. Robin says, The Stand. Yes, that was a good, yes. That one stuck with me, too. Uh, Linda says, Bobsy Twins. Terry says, The Prophet. Linda says, Not a Reader. That is fair, girl. That is fair. So yeah, To Kill a Mockingbird and East of Eden. And if you haven't read either of those books, I strongly suggest you do. They're both wonderful books, beautifully written, and just just good, really good books. Rhonda says Death of a Salesman. Oh, I haven't read that one. I'm going to have to make a list because a couple of these I haven't read. Stephanie says Talisman. I don't think I've read that one either. Although, you know what I do? I am a voracious, well, I should say I was a voracious reader before I had kids. Um, I literally would go through a couple books a week <clears throat> and Memoirs of a Geisha, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, yeah, so what I would do, because I never kept, like, a list or anything of books I read, and I have a terrible memory for names and titles, just terrible, terrible memory. Like, never be offended if I forget your name if we meet in person, because I just, I can't even remember my own damn kids' names. So um, I have an absolute terrible memory for t titles and names. And I would rebuy a book and I'd get like three pages and I'd be like, I have definitely read this. So it's actually totally possible that I, um, I have read those books and just don't remember the names of them. Anyway, so yeah, those are our questions today. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Gemma says, my mom read mine has, I, I can't read good. I tried to start reading my little cuz. Ah. Uh, Dean Koontz. Oh, Dean Koontz are good. I like those. Those are good. A little creepy. A little creepy. As a kid, are you there? God, it's me, Margaret. That was a good one. I like that one, too. All right, guys. Links, 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 links. And keep discussing. Keep discussing. Our three questions were, would you rather live where it's never hot or never cold? Would you... What is your favorite breakfast cereal ever in the whole world of all time? And what book has stuck with you your whole life? Anthony says that might this might not ring a bell with folks, but Black Hawk Down. I served with a lot of guys that were there in the tenth. I read that. It's a good book. Uh, Robin Misery too. Every time I see a movie reference, it's different. Uh, I meant no, Gemma. I'm sorry. I totally understand what you're saying. I'm just trying to read the comments fast as they're scrolling. No worries, girl. Who can spell well when they're typing anyway? Not me. Okay. Uh, links, 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 links. I have three links today. First one is one of my favorite beauty things in the whole world. And it's not really beauty so much as it's called the makeup eraser. It's a washcloth. It is the most magical washcloth you will ever own in your entire life. You get it wet. No soap. No soap. You get it wet. Do I live near an airport? Uh, close-ish. Yeah, we've, we're, we're within a flight pattern. Oh, flight path. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the makeup eraser. Yeah, I put the link in the comments. It is the best. You're like, you're going to be like, April, I'm not spending $20 on a washcloth. And I'm going to be like, you should though, because you never, ever, 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 ever need soap. You literally just put warm water on it and gently rub on your face and it takes all your makeup off. It is the most amazing thing ever. I have... Um, yeah, yeah, I hear planes. Yeah, we definitely have, we're, we're within the flight path. Um, I have saved so much money. I have not bought, um, face cleansers in, um, six, eight, ten months. I don't even know. It's fantastic. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I have, I have, I should have two so that I can cycle them through the wash and they, it's crazy. You take your makeup off and they look so gross and you can use it a few times before you, um, wash it. And you take your makeup off and you're like, oh my God, it's never going to come clean. I've got mascara all over it. I've got like my, you know, staining lipstick on it. And it comes out perfectly clean every time. I don't know the magic behind it. I don't understand it, but I love it. So that would be my first link today. Second link, in line with cleaning, um, <laughs> I just had to use some of this yesterday because I have a dog. Um, and, you know, smells happen. Also, I have, let's be real, I have five kids too, so smells happen. Um, this carpet cleaner is my favorite carpet cleaner in the whole world. It's like one that you shake off onto the carpet and then you kind of, um, 
you can use like a carpet brush if you want but um I just use my foot <laughs> kind of like smush into the carpet and then let it sit for like an hour and then you vacuum it I don't know how it works you guys I don't understand it's not dry so it's weird it comes out like damp it's very strange I don't get it, it smells so good though um and it just sucks up all the grossness it takes out stains like I don't get how it works I don't but it's my like one of my favorite things ever and we don't have carpets in our house anymore because we took them out you'll remember just a couple months ago but we do still have like throw rugs everywhere so I still use it and I love it I love it I love it I love it love it, it gets rid of stains it gets I mean it, it just I just I love it anyway can't say enough good things about that um and then last link last link last link um so you guys might remember that last year I had to go on a really really long work trip it was it was a, it was a solid two weeks might have been even a little bit longer than two weeks and I was gone I had two conferences right in a row and um so I I felt bad and I sent my kids and my husband some presents while I was gone so one of the presents I sent was this morning yesterday so it made me think of it was uh silly shirts for each of the kids so I love these like crazy cat things right this is my mouse pad it's a cat in outer space chasing a taco because who wouldn't chase a taco into outer space I know I would um anyway so I just linked the shirt I sent Wes and it is a um cat riding a shark with a cowboy hat in space and the shark is vomiting rainbows <laughs> and I bought it as a joke thinking that Wes would laugh at it and like give it to one of the kids as a night shirt oh no no he wears it all the time anyway it's hilarious I love it if you want a fun thing um if you want a fun little gift to send to somebody and make them smile it's it's a good shirt and it's a good quality like it's held up it's uh so that trip was well over a year ago now he wears it all the time and it's held up really really well so and they've got tons of t-shirts like that on there so anyway um Stephen uh, Anthony says he is a Stephen King fanatic Anthony I have to tell you I was a Stephen King fanatic for years and years and years and years I started reading Stephen King when I was like 15 or so and um I just couldn't read I just couldn't get it off I loved it so much and then I had kids and I can't read it now I tried to read a, read a Stephen King a few years ago and I just can't like it stresses me out so much because he's so twisted and so dark and I love him but it's really hard the only one I was able to finish getting through after I had kids was I did finish the Dark Tower series which I love I don't think I have any of his books in hardcover maybe two or three that I bought like when they first came out but um but yeah yeah so we have that in common in case you were curious <laughs> Uh, Anthony says, I would prefer never hot. I went on a camping trip to Kuwait, courtesy of Uncle Sam. Average temp was 125. Oh, oh, that sounds terrible for a lot of reasons, but thank you for your service. And, um, yeah, no, that doesn't sound very comfortable in the slightest. Sorry, I am like really bad chat clips right now. So, the Mr. Mercedes series is some of his best work. I don't think I've read that series. Has it come out since more recently? Jamie says, right, kids changed my TV movie watching. Yeah, I it really has. It's really affected my ability to um, watch watch and like consume different media. It's funny. I didn't I didn't see it happening. It's funny. It's not funny. So when I was a lawyer, um, some of the cases I worked on, uh, or or my firm worked on, I should say, um, involved kids that died. Right? Because um, unfortunately, that's part of what we did. And I used to get all of the really, they used to give me all the really just gross, gory, horrible cases. And I hated it. I hated it because I'm like, I, you know, that affects me too. But my, the firm partner used to say, um, you don't have kids. I can't make the people in this firm who have kids deal with these cases on a daily basis. Like, you'll understand when you have kids. And I didn't, I was so, it used to make me so mad. Like, why do I have to have all the most horrible cases and then I had kids and I look back and I'm like okay I get it <laughs> I get it now um but yeah fun fun times I'm glad I don't do that anymore I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so yeah uh Anthony says it's less than 10 years old there's uh even a very good series out on DVD no kidding good to know but that makes sense that I haven't seen it because I stopped reading Stephen King um around the time my son was born so about 13 years ago 14 years ago so yeah, you guys, I love you. Anthony thinks I should do a karaoke show. I don't know about that. I don't know about that.
about that. I don't think you really want to hear me sing more than a few bars of anything. Uh, you guys, I love you. You're awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out. You're awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Stephanie, oh, don't be sorry for me. You know, be sorry for the parents because oh, we had some horrible, horrible stuff go through that law firm. But um, yeah, uh, make sure you check out our recipe of the day. It's a sweet potato and sausage hash. We have made it live on the show before. And it's fantastic, fabulous, wonderful, one of my absolute favorite meals in the world. I'd also love if you supported us by grabbing our cookbook. It's available at uh, Dinner Hero 369, the strangle line. Uh, it's available at dinnerhero.com. Uh, it's available in ebook and printed format. I don't think I brought it in today, but um, yeah. Good stuff. You guys are awesome. I love you. Happy July. Happy second half of the year. Fingers crossed uh, that things start looking up because we could really use it. Uh, and have a great day, guys. Talk to you later. Go be good. Go do good. Go be nice.